Joy Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. We're on the hunt today. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with the channel, by all means, subscribe. We have a lot of fun over here. We crack everything Magic the Gathering, a lot of vintage stuff. Anyway, let's get into uh, today's video. Magic the Gathering cubes are back on shelves, but different. They're not cubes, they're boxes now. And as you can see on the packaging, Mystery Power Cube, or Mystery Power Box, one in 10 packs have been seated with a revised booster pack, according to the packaging. One in 10, we'll see what's up with that. MJ Holdings is a distributor. They do this quarterly. So every three months, they drop a different cube on the shelves. And once a year, annually, there will be a really good juiced up box or cube that they throw on shelves. Is it this quarter that we're in right now? Very, very likely. We're gonna find out. My goal is to find 10 of these. I already went to one Walmart, found two. They're at Supercenter Walmarts for anyone wondering. They're selling for $29.98. Last time they juiced up the price of the boxes or cubes, they had commander decks in every single freaking one. I think they were $34.98 or $29.98. Don't quote me on that, but usually the garbage ones are $19.98. I highly suggest staying away from those. Times have changed, prices have gone up. Uh, but also, um, I believe they would just take those ones that didn't sell on shelves and distributors would come around, okay, this didn't sell, the quarter's almost up, and they'd grab them off shelves and then maybe distribute them again at a later date. But right now, we're on the frickin' hunt. We just went to the first one, found two. We're gonna try to find more. Hopefully, we get that revised frickin' pack. Journey with me, baby. Here we go. Looks like rubbish. Second one, no frickin' luck. Number three, and we're on... This Walmart's on a street called Jaeger. Man, it brings me back to my college days. This is not a super Walmart, but I decided to go here anyway. We'll see what they have, if anything. Yahtzee. Oh, baby. Oh, we're clearing this whole roll out. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're, gra we're grabbing all six, baby. All right, so I was just informed, this is not a super Walmart. This is not. Not a super Walmart, and I just got six. That's crazy. Uh, so update, they are also are at non-super Walmarts, confirmed. I take that back. So I even asked an associate and he said, no, as far as he knows, they're not a super Walmart. But then I went, into my maps app like google maps and according to google maps this is a super walmart location so correction there. all right we're at the fourth or fifth walmart i don't even know but what are we gonna find let's find out we found the aisle um let's see no such luck chuck that's a big no I'm at like the maybe sixth or seventh Walmart, the very last one I was at, no luck. But holy smother and tithe. Tell me what this is, baby. Who can spot it first? Where is it at? Tell me where I find it on the shelf. Where do you see it? I came. Ooh! All right, so two more. Well, it's nighttime. Um, I believe I'm on to my... Uh, Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Who knows how many Walmarts I've gone to now. But uh, yeah, the sun has fallen where I'm at in Northeast Ohio. I'm on the east side right now. I went to all the locations on the west side, cleared them out of whatever they had, if they had some, as you guys have been watching. And now the east side seems to be a little, a little lucky where I found two. And now we are up to 10 packs. Or 10 boxes, which is pretty freaking cool. I'm of, or I think by, oh yeah, I'm by Geauga Lake. Rest in peace, Geauga Lake, man. I used to come here as a little boy. It was a really cool amusement park. Six Flags took over, and then before you know it, Cedar Falls, um, the owners of Cedar Point ended up taking over, and they now own it. But anyway, we're looking for a few more, more than 10, so we can increase our odds of pulling one of these freaking crazy revised booster packs. They have to revise, but all I know is Joey Moss is gonna find one. Let me spend my money so you don't have to. 
hopefully we get friggin' lucky, but who the heck knows. If, we, if I find two out of like maybe 14 of these, I'll feel really good. If I find two and I don't find any more right now, and we only get like 10 and that's it, I'm gonna feel super cool. But I'll settle for one. Let's see what happens. Little pro tip. The best luck I ever had finding crazy cubes, even like months after I dropped a video, was was in like Amish country. Like basically in the middle of BFE. If anyone knows what BFE is, please refrain from saying exactly verbatim what that uh, what that exactly entails. But yeah, basically, but funk Egypt. Uh, is is, uh, is what I'm talking about. But when I go out to the boonies or the sticks, and no offense to anyone who lives out there, just I'm not from around there, so I usually have to travel a very long distance in order to find some of this stuff. But apparently, not many people play Magic the Gathering out in the middle of nowhere. So, <laughs> so luck be on my side when I go out there. Uh, right now, I am not out in the boonies. Um, I'm in a more populated area. A bit rural, but not too crazy, you know? So let's see what we find. Guys, I hear crickets. That's how long we've been out. And there's some vicious dog barking. I'm scared. Wow, uh, where I thought they'd be, they were not. Oh, 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 oh found them. Watch this. All right, let's see what we got. Sometimes it takes a second before it sinks in and I locate them, but Oh no, there's a lot of product here, but I'm not seeing these cubes. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, what? I, <laughs> I may have to pick up some of these. I think we're going to, but we're still looking for uh, the, la the latest mystery boxes. Looks like the distributor screwed up at this Walmart because all we have <laughs> All we have are these mystery boxes right here on the shelf. So, no such luck with the new ones, but it looks like they have the old ones on the shelf. So, we're gonna be. I re you wanna be in the video? A little bit, yeah. I got a YouTube channel. Hi. Ah! We were looking for these, kind of these, but we didn't find these. Who's this back here? What, what, hey, what's your lady's name? My name's Jazz. Jazz? Jazz and Ryan? Yeah. Jelly. Beautiful. Uh, let me follow you. Um... Follow. It's, it's subscribe. You. I'm on YouTube. You can subscribe to YouTube. Subscribe. You can't find it on TikTok, ladies. Okay. Oh, I do the little. I bet you are on TikTok. <laughs> yes. What's your name on TikTok? Okay, Jazz. Okay, Jazz. You got one? RSW for life one. There you go. Okay, then. Follow them. Bye, Bye ladies. <laughs> okay, so what I've learned because of the pandemic, these were like maybe like in like a back warehouse or something. Um, this is what I learned from like one of the vendors slash associates, maybe like a hybrid, not really sure. He's actually right there. <laughs> but, um, yeah? I said, what you Oh, my YouTube, it's Bad Boy Gaming. It's called what? Bad Boy Gaming. Bad Boy Gaming? Bad Boy Gaming. It's all one word. Alright. Let's go find it. This video will drop in like, within 48 hours. Alright. Alright. Okay. All right, like I said, I've been to a lot of these Walmarts now. Um, but yeah, they said because of the pandemic, that's why these hit the shelves just now. So like maybe they had them like a back warehouse or something. Really freaking cool. Really interesting, guys. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to crack these too. But I know the big ones I want to open um, are, are the new mystery boxes. So hopefully we find some more of those. I'm going to go to one more Walmart and then I got to call it quits. Okay, so now I'm heading to Streetsboro, um, which is also west, I uh, know this is East Cleveland, so, but like the suburbs East Cleveland. Wish me luck, guys. Hopefully we can find, this is the very last stop, so hopefully I can find some more of these uh, mystery boxes. We are up to 10, which is really freaking cool. And I also found two of those random other mystery boxes. I think they're only 15 bucks a piece. We'll see what's up inside those. I actually forget, it's been so long. You know what I miss is Walmarts being open 24 seven. Who remembers that from like a year and a half, two years ago? It's no longer like that. So you gotta beat the clock. And I think the majority of the Walmarts near me at least, they close between 10 and 11 p.m. on any given day. Here we go. 
Um, I, is this Aurora? I think this is Aurora. Possibly. Um, we'll see what they got here. Like this is, no, this is Streetsboro. Okay, we're in Streetsboro, whatever. We're looking for some goodies, baby. Let's see what they got. All right, we found the aisle. Let's see if they got anything. Sorry, man. Oh no, I'm not seeing nada. I'll show you what I'm looking at. It's looking grim. I kind of had high hopes for this location, but by the looks of things, they have nothing on the shelf. All right, well, it looks like that's where our journey ends, is in Streetsboro, Ohio, and with the Gatorade. Gotta stay replenished. That's a magic card. Who could tell me what replenished is? What's the text on that? Anyway, thanks guys for tuning in and girls. Uh, the next video you see is gonna be us cracking open these new mystery boxes, which should be open today. This was just kind of like the vlog and experience, and I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you soon. All right, you twisted my arm. We're going to one more, only because I'm so far east right now, 45 minutes roughly from home, that I might as well go ahead and try to find at least a couple more of these mystery boxes. I love that we have 10, but I'd really like if I had 12 or 14 or something, just so we can get a real good ample size um, and, and, and really develop some analytics on these mystery boxes. Let's see what we find. Well, this Walmart seems a little more small. Maybe I'll just come across these really quick. Probably not though. Mind you, it's about almost 10 p.m. at night and a lot of these Walmarts, again, close like around 10, 11 o'clock. So, let's see what we find. What the F? There is literally nothing on the shelf. Excuse me, did you guys move like the Pokemon and like magic cards anywhere? All right, I'm not trying to invade too many people's privacy, but they said um, to call around 9 a.m. tomorrow. Today's Monday, so Tuesday in the morning, I guess they may get a restock. But I mean, that was completely empty. That was completely empty, which is pretty freaking nuts. So, I mean, if that's the case though, I, I may be taking another trip out here. We'll see. All right, so the next Walmart is 20 minutes away and it's somewhat on the way back to my home <laughs> so i think we're gonna try to go there and see if we get anything but if the vendor eh, based on what i just saw at this location if the vendor hasn't restocked this location then the odds are probably stacked in the favor of they haven't stocked that location either but there's a chance that maybe they did. And I'm just really trying not to come back out here tomorrow. But man, if I just missed like the last three or four Walmarts we went to by a day of them restocking, and I do believe Tuesdays, depending where you're at, it used to be Thursdays, but now it seems to be Tuesdays. They restock the shelves at Walmarts. I don't know. Let's, let's see what the next location has in store. I gotta be honest, if I missed the restock by a 12 hour period. Oh man, I, I will be salty, but that's very good news for anyone who lives uh, east of Cleveland who is looking for these mystery boxes. So do keep that in mind. <laughs> Everyone's like, shut up, dude. That's like maybe less than half of a percent of us. Probably less than that. So it's, it's telling me the next street I turn on is State Road. That's just kind of funny because when I go for long distance bike rides with my friend, uh, Adabo, he's the one that got me the magic. Um, usually, that's where we're at, um, is off of State Road in Hinkley uh, Park Reservation. But I'm like way the heck out um, by a few colleges and whatnot, like Kent University or Kent State University. Um, Kent and Akron and all that like I'm a little more south than I normally am so it's just interesting to see 
turn left on State Road. All right, so this is State Road. Quality scrub. Well, at least my friend and I are quality. Honestly, this looks like a good place for street walkers. On the next episode of Bad Boy Gaming. No, stop it. For anyone curious, you're not missing a whole lot other than a bunch of glare and just the back roads. This looks more like a Kmart than a frickin' Walmart, but it's whatever. Look at them old carts. The very last stop. Holy shit. Check this. Boom! Right there. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Wow, that is amazing. I, I, I am so pumped right now that I was able to find four more out and about. So we have a sample size of 14 now. Let's see how many we can crack, which have this mystery, amazing one in 10 seated pack. So lo and behold, a total of 14, baby. I am pretty proud with that. I don't think I need to go back out and check out any more restocks or whatever vendors are gonna show up and all that. But if this is the annual once a year, big bang for MJ Holdings. I know one thing's for certain, I will be a part of it. And uh, all you guys are going to see firsthand what's inside these 14 boxes over the next two weeks or so, because we're gonna be cracking a lot of craziness. Whew. If you enjoyed this little vlog or whatever, let me know. And uh, if you've ever gone on a mission where you're hunting for something, I want to hear about it in the comments because this was my little hunt for this year. I'll see you guys. All right, soon. it was on the way home, so I stopped at one more. Uh, this one's in Medina, but I was already in Medina last week, like on a Thursday, uh, to no avail. So, hey, maybe they got it, maybe they don't. We're gonna find out right now. The moment of truth. <sighs> Come on, baby, one last stop. One last stop. Oh, no. It's not looking like it. I do not see it. A lot of collector, uh, a lot of collector boxes on the shelves, though. No. Pokemon. What is all this? Why does a magic do some weird stuff like this? Who even makes this product for Pokemon? What? Is... No, actually, magic don't do this. Never mind, magic don't do that. Jazz wears. Jazz wears. Okay, sure. So, last stop. They may be getting restocked in the next few days. So. There you go. If you're in the area, cool. If not, we'll see ya. It's kind of a bummer. I was hoping the very last stop we'd hit like two to six more, but I'm very, very content with the number that we opened. We got a total of 14, and that's gonna be a heck ton of fun as we journey in, uh, try to see how many of these one in 10 seated packs we can pull. Odds are we should pull at least one. If we don't pull one out of the 14, then our luck is terrible, or MJ Holdings is full of crap. Stay tuned for the videos. We'll see you. Every night